Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the Int LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Extreme Z battle event has finally arrived on Global. And in today's video, we're going to try to run through it as quickly as we possibly can. Now, as you guys can see, the timer has made a return and this is for people that want to race me. You can use that as a reference. Alright, so with all that said, let's uh, jump right into it starting with level 1, and of course the team we're going to be running is a full androids slash cell saga team because that is the effective category, and we're also going with all LRs because the legendary power link allows you to do more damage against Gohan. Now one quick adjustment actually I want to make before we jump in, I'm probably going to take out the trunks and throw in Gohan himself, and I'm feeling pretty good about this team so let me just uh, start the timer here and uh, actually let's do a countdown so we're gonna jump in to level one in three two one go all right i'm starting and we're in okay so the last one of these that we did which was the um lr bardock extreme z battle was Honestly, a little bit disappointing. Um, I expected that one to be much harder than it actually ended up being. And uh, this one I heard was definitely more challenging. But probably not nearly as bad as like... Oh. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. I was gonna say, more challenging, probably not as bad as like the LR Broly or the LR Goku and Frieza those were pretty tough but so far <laughs> so far level one was a bit of a joke <laughs> but of course it's still very very early okay so I don't want to I don't want to judge it too soon but damn okay so we beat level one in right around a minute right around a minute let's uh, see how much damage these Gohans can do uh, let's get a super for Cell, there we go. Okay, so this is of course pre-EZA Gohan, very bad defense. That's one thing that I was like kind of concerned about uh, when I, you know, decided to bring him. I was like, is he going to be okay? Is he going to hold up though, defensively? Um, so far, you know, we took 10k for a normal, so it's not great, but we'll see what a super does. Okay, well, here we go. We're gonna take 100k for a super, you know, that's actually not terrible. That's actually not terrible. I was expecting to take a lot more, so... I'll say that's a win. Okay, he's dead, there we go. So AGL Gohan, actually both Gohans doing good damage. Both Gohans are definitely viable on, uh, on this event. Okay, level 3. So far, about a minute per stage. Uh, making good progress, making good time, hopefully you guys are doing well too um let's see here okay i'm gonna leave Ooh. okay let's give these to sell we'll give these to the androids and then give these to gohan or sorry trunks my mistake trunks now believe it or not my lr androids don't have any dupes um and i actually never pulled them like outside of the one other lr i'm actually missing which is tapion and minosha uh, this is the only LR in the game that I've never pulled. I had to buy my one copy, and, uh, since then I've never pulled them, not even, like, from a random, you know, like, summon on some legendary summon banner. Like, I just never got them. I don't really understand why. I don't know how that works, because I've pulled, obviously, a lot of LRs in my time, right? But, um, yeah, the one LR that I just can't pull to save my life it's the LR androids. So they're at 55%, they're not nearly as good as they could be. But uh, for this event, because they are androids at Shell Saga, and also because they're Fizz, um, they should be quite effective against the, the Gohan here. And so far, they've been proving to be pretty solid. Okay, so stage 3, about a minute and a half. So obviously it gets harder as you go along, that's to be expected. But um, yeah, this is... Quite a bit easier so far than, 
than I thought it would be. But once again, it's still early. It's still early. I don't want to, you know, judge too quick. So let's just go along with it. Let's see what happens. Uh, ooh, it would have been nice to save those uh, Fizz Orbs for the androids. But that's going to be a good super for Gohan. Okay, so taking not much damage here. Yep, this is level 4, right? Still taking double digits. That's nice to see. Uh, okay, well, I guess the LR Broly Extreme Z battle is a bit of an anomaly because I thought all of them would be as hard as that, you know? And like, so far it just hasn't been the case, you know? Uh, aside from the LR Broly and, you know, like the, the Goku and Frieza one's kind of close, but like not even on the same level, I feel like. I feel like the LR Broly one is definitely quite a bit harder than that one and a lot harder than this one so far and also the... LR Bardock one was a bit of a joke, to be honest. Okay, um... You know what, let's put my cell there. This should finish things off. Ooh, that was a mistake. No, it should be fine. The uh, the cell should have enough firepower to kill him off. So, so far we're at 5 minutes and 4 seconds. Uh, this stage is going to take about 2 minutes. And I'm guessing after level 5, every stage will be... Okay, I messed up there, man. I should've put Trunks in the front. What What am I thinking? What was I thinking? I should've put Trunks in the front. He would've finished off Gohan for sure. That was kind of dumb. I actually kind of screwed myself there for time. Um, I probably could've saved like 10, 15 seconds if I had just put Trunks in the first slot. So that was stupid. I'm sure a lot of you guys have pulled ahead of me at this point. I'm still trying. I'm still I'm still gonna try to set a good time, but uh, I recognize mistakes were definitely made there. Mistakes were definitely made. Okay, let's get a super for trunks. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the cells are gonna li like link very well with each other. The Gohans will link very well, but the trunks he's just kind of there. And uh, same thing with the uh, who else? LR and no LR androids can provide support though for themselves. So. That's not a huge issue. This LR cell, by the way, the uh, Fizz LR cell I'm using right now is actually max linked. Um, it wasn't really intentional, but since he's an attack all unit, right? I ran him as my attack all guy for uh, my link leveling teams. So he just happened to become max link level that way. And I gotta say, even at max links, his damage is not that impressive. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I would have hoped for more, but uh, then again, he is a pretty old LR, so I think we can cut him a little bit of slack for that, you know. And he will get a Shrimzy Awakening at some point, and I'm sure he's going to be pretty, you know, insane when that happens. But at the moment, yeah, max link level, his LR cell, eh, he's okay. He's alright, you know, nothing, nothing special. Oh, he didn't die, oh, okay. Hopefully Cell can finish him off here, because Gohan's not getting a super attack. Come on. There we go. Okay, okay. So, now things are getting slightly more challenging, right? Just ever so slightly. <laughs> it's still not really a challenge, I would say. But we're getting closer to a challenge for sure. Uh, let's give these, so we can save these. Um, I guess the same thing either way. Let's give six, and then give these to sell. Yeah, we're getting closer to a challenge. But I gotta say, I think I already know what the, the title of this video is gonna be. Um, surprisingly easy. Something like that. Because that's just how I feel right now. Now, man, I was really, uh... Hoping to to be challenged today, and that hasn't really been the case, at least so far. At least so far, level nine and level ten should be a pretty big step up in uh, difficulty. If I remember correctly, yeah, that was the case for the other ones too. the The last couple levels were a pretty big step up from the other levels. So we'll see. We'll see. Eight minutes and thirty four seconds. Could have been less. I did make my, make some mistakes in there, so uh, I'm sure some of you guys took advantage of that. 
but uh, I still think we're making some pretty good time overall. Um, let's see. Okay, let's do. Hold on. Let's do. Let's do that. Now we can get nice supers for everybody here. 24 key super or 18 key super at least for LR cell. Hopefully this rotation will be enough to move on. <sighs> now if you guys missed my um, uh, LR Gohan EZA details video from like two days ago, uh, we talked about like, you know, what the Extreme Z Awakening does and all that stuff. And since then I've given it some more thought as well. I feel like I was maybe a little bit harsh in that video. Maybe just a little bit. You know, like I called <laughs> I called Gohan like the most average Extreme Z Awakening ever. And I don't think that's really fair, you know, because it's it's by a different standard that we judge these LRs. It's a different standard for LRs and then Dokkan Fest units and then non Dokkan Fest units obviously have their own standard as well. So, you know, I, I feel like for an LR Extreme Z Awakening, yes, he is a little bit lackluster. He does lack a little bit, but if you compare him to like, you know, other Dokkan Fest, like, you know, TUR Extreme Z Awakenings, or non Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakenings, right? Like, he's still pretty impressive. He's still a really, really good unit after the Extreme Z Awakening, but I still stand by the fact that I feel like it could have been better. Like, that, that, that's not gonna change. Um, I definitely feel like they could have done more for him than uh, what they actually did. So uh, I guess that's where the disappointment comes from. And another thing is like, we don't know if there's going to be anything more than Extreme Z Awakenings, right? Like as far as we know right now, Extreme Z Awakening is kind of like what that unit's going to be forever for the remainder of the game's life, right? And assuming the game's only going to be around for another 3-4 years, we don't know, by the way, it could be another 10 years, could be another 15 years, but you know, it's just, we're kind of in uncharted territory right now because I don't think, I mean, Dokkan's one of the oldest gacha games, right? Like, of its kind. There might be others that are a little bit older, but you know, there have been other gacha games shutting down recently, so... It's hard to say exactly how long Dokkan will go for, I'm assuming for a good amount of time. But uh, anyways, my point is, my point is getting sidetracked. Um, I think it's safe to assume that Extreme Z Awakenings will be the only like, or update, I guess, units will be getting right for the remainder of the game's life. And because of that, this Extreme Z Awakening needed to be better because even right now with the CZA, the Gohan's defense still isn't going to hold up in harder events, you know, in like the GT Legendary Goku events later stages or Extreme Super Battle Road. Like, he's still going to get you hurt. He's still going to be a liability at times. And if that's the case right now, then imagine in half a year, in a year when like we get harder events harder stages to Extreme Super Battle and all that stuff, right? Like, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. So even though he got the update, I wish they would have given him an update where he would be more future-proof, if that makes sense. And it just doesn't really feel like this EZA was that. So I, I, I guess that's where um, my criticism for the EZA comes from, man. I, don't get me wrong, I'm still excited for it, right? I, I'm still... Excited to like get this done, Extreme Z Awaken the Gohan, and do some showcases, run him on a bunch of events, all that stuff. And I'm sure he's gonna do great on most things. But when it comes to like the hardest stuff, the end game content, um you know, you would still have to be pretty careful with him, which kinda sucks for a new EZ LR. Uh I'ma end it there. I'ma end it there. I think I've said everything that there is you know, is to be said for the Gohan EZA. Let's just uh, finish up this event here, and then we will get the actual EZA done. Uh, okay, let's give these to Trunks, and I'll give these to Androids. I'm trying to save my Phase Orbs for the his LR cell as much as we can, because he's definitely the hardest hitter on this team, um, or at least the most effective against against Gohan. 
Now I do recognize that like I'm in a pretty nice situation where I have like a full LR team to run, right? Like most people uh, watching this, I'm assuming don't have all the LRs at their disposal. And if that's the case, then run as many LRs as you can. If you have like two or three or four, run those. And then uh, for the rest of your team, I mean, I'm not sure how much defense will be in, will, will be a factor because it really hasn't been for me so far. But um, if you need a tank, if you need somebody that can actually like, take some more hits, then like Fizz Piccolo would be a pretty good option. Uh, you also got guys like you got stackers like the Vegeta and Trunks. They exchange one the free to play one. That's not too bad either. Um, Android 16, of course, could be a good tank. Who else? I'm trying to think about the Android slash Cell Saga category right now. Uh, nothing else really keep, comes to mind, but I'm sure there are a, a few other units that can tank pretty decently. Okay, so we took a super there, and it was only about 50k. So there you go. Nothing really to be concerned about. But once again, you know, we have Rainbow Cell max link levels so your other your, your your other units might not fare as well in this situation what level is this level eight i think it's level eight and this i think will kill him i'm hope oh not quite not quite okay so the damage we've seen from uh int gohan so far Realistically, has not been been that impressive, right? It, it hasn't been that good. Um, back in the day, yo, when he first came out, it was insane, right? It was like top, top, top tier damage. But now, it's just okay. It's just all right, unless you're getting like a ton of orbs, which doesn't always happen. That's the problem with him too, right? The, and with the Extreme Z Awakening, like he doesn't have a base attack boost. He doesn't have a base attack boost, so. If you're not getting a bunch of orbs, if you're not bringing like an orb changer to give him consistent orbs, then on some turns his damage will be very lacking, you know? It will be very, um, very much, what's the word, meh, <laughs> I guess, like, it, it was just gonna be meh, like it, it's been so far. Like look at this right now, we can only give him three orbs. Three orbs, he's gonna get an 18 key super. But that ACK super probably is gonna be like 2.5 mil or something like that. We'll see. He's not getting a lot of links, so that's also part of it. I guess it's not super fair to say like, you know, it's not impressive. But like, the point is, they could have given him a base attack boost, and I don't think that would have been too broken. I think that would have made a lot, a lot of people happier with the Extreme Z Awakening. Yeah, okay. I even overestimated. I said 2.5 to 3, right? 2.1. That's 2.1. Maybe Trunks would have been a better choice here. <laughs> At least, I know Trunks would have tanked better. Okay, uh, let's see. I guess we'll just give these two orbs. Um, okay, let's give that to Cell so we can get a super at least with Trunks. There we go. Oh, yo, Trunks, by the way, is getting Extreme Z Awakening on JP with the new Dokkan Fest Trunks. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, I was going to cover it, but I got busy this morning, so I forgot to make the video. But the point is, the Fizz LR Trunks Extreme Z Awakening is coming. I'm really, really excited for that, man, because I love Trunks. I love Trunks' unit. He was one of the first LRs I pulled. Not the first, but one of the earlier ones. And... Um, yeah, I'm stoked to see what they do with him. I mean, right now, he, he's he's uh, just like all the other LRs. He suffers on defense, right? But his damage, actually, is not too bad. It, it, it's not too bad, all things considered. Because um, he has the built-in crit, right? So he does actually hit pretty hard for when he came out. But uh, hopefully, unlike the Gohan, right, they give him more attack on top of the defense hopefully it's not just the defense boost because he needs definitely needs more attack he needs more damage output um i think they did learn their lesson from this gohan though there was there was quite a bit of backlash from the community 
uh, over this Extreme Z Awakening. There was quite a bit of just anger, I guess, or just upsetness. So I think from, from here on out, I mean, it sucks that this Gohan had to be the example, I guess. He had to be, you know, the one. It, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Super Saiyan 3 Broly, you know? Like, he was the first, um, he was the first 120 Elite Extreme Z Awakening, and he is definitely by far the worst one, right? <laughs> He's by far the worst one, and since then, it feels like they learned their lesson after all the backlash from the, uh, from the community, but it's, it's a little late now. <laughs> It's a it's it's a little late now, because we can't go back and change it. And LR Gohan, I mean, LR Gohan's not even the first Extreme Z Awakening though, so I guess that excuse isn't even valid. Like he he's not the first summonable LR Extreme Z Awakening, right? So yeah, I don't get it. It's like they did such a be such a better job with 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 uh, Broly. They did such a better job with Goku and Frieza. Um. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I said I was going to stop talking about it, but <laughs> clearly, <laughs> clearly I have some pretty strong feelings about it, I guess, that I didn't know about. I had some pretty strong repressed emotions about the Gohan Extreme Z Awakening. I, I do wish it was much better, guys. I mean, I got to be honest, right? I, I wish they did a better job with him, but What's done is done. What's done is done. They can't revise the Extreme Z Awakening. At least they've never done that to this point. If, if they were going to do that, I'm sure they would have gone back and changed Super Saiyan 3 Broly. But since that hasn't happened yet, I'm just going to assume that that's not going to be a thing. Uh, ooh, okay, so if I give this to him... I thought the orbs would drop differently, actually. Okay, so I was trying to get an 18k Super for my Fizz Cell. But didn't quite work out. Either way, though, we're almost done, guys. This was this was pretty quick. This is pretty quick. 21 minutes and counting. Um, I'm sure I made some mistakes in there. I'm sure in better hands, in smarter hands, someone could have finished this in under 20 minutes. But I think this is still a pretty good time for a full LR Extreme Z Awakening or Extreme Z battle, right? It's only 10 stages, so obviously. Not as long as your standard Extreme Z battle, but in theory it should be a lot harder. Uh, but so far it's just been okay. It's just been okay, and I say so far, but it's almost over. So, yeah, overall, surprisingly easy, guys. <laughs> surprisingly easy, but I recognize not for everybody. I always like to put this disclaimer, right? I know that not everyone has the same team available to them, so it's surprisingly easy for me. But maybe for, for other people, it could be very challenging. Uh, maybe you don't have the right team. Maybe you don't have the right units. So you might have to wait a while before you can actually beat it. And that's fine, you know, because this, this event's not going anywhere. Or at least, like, it'll be back. It'll be back. So once it, once it leaves, it'll return after a couple months. So in the meantime, just, like, take your time to either farm some free-to-play units that you need on this team or, uh, you know, hopefully you can get some, like, other units in this category. To help you with it and that was the case for me too like earlier on right like when the uh agl super saiyan 3 goku's extreme z battle came out i couldn't beat it for like six months because i never had the int angel golden frieza who was the leader for resurrected warriors who is um w which is like the effective category right so yeah that was kind of annoying but it's all part of the process guys it's all it's all part, part of the the growing pains with this game and I would say enjoy it because some of the most fun I had with Dokkan was when I was newer, when I didn't have all the units and when it was actually like something I had to think about when it came to team building, right? Like when I had to be like, man, like I don't have everything available. So like I have to, you know, make some adjustments. I have to actually uh, come up with some strategies. And that's not something you really have to do when you have like basically all the units. Um, does this sound like I'm flexing? I'm not flexing, by the way. It's not a flex. It's not a flex. I'm just, I'm just saying. I understand the pain, but it's also part of the fun. Okay, anyways, <laughs> with that out of the way, we're done. That was the Extreme Z battle, guys. All 10 levels complete 
final time, I stopped the timer at 23 minutes and 25 seconds, and I guess 86 milliseconds. Uh, let me know how your time compares to this, if you guys decided to race me. Um, yeah, I think I could have done better, but I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Let me just collect my one mission here for three more stones. There we go. And now let's extreme Z awaken our Gohan here. All right. Step one. Step two. And step three. And I'm gonna let this one play out. Okay. There we go. Gohan fully extreme Z awakened. Let's give him a couple of Kai's here. Ooh, I have five. Perfect. Oh, those are from the event, actually. So, yeah, our five Kai's from the extreme Z battle event. There we go. And now he is done. Int LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Extreme Z awakening complete. Let me see if I can actually give him a nice skill orb here. Or did I already? Oh, I did. Okay, so we gave him level 5 attack. Uh, do we have a better silver skill orb to give him? Or maybe gold. Um, It looks like we have a level 4 crit, but I kind of want to hold on to that one. Uh, this level 4. Wait, no, that's the same one. Wait, hold on. We have a bunch of level 4 crits, don't we? Well, it's level 2 crit, actually. Let's... Hey, screw it. There we go. Level 4 crit plus type defense boost. And I'm going to give him a level 2 crit here so we get level 21 crit in his hidden potential. So even though, you know, I'm not the most satisfied with this Extreme Z Awakening, I do think it's good enough to deserve these nice skill orbs. So... Take that as you will. But uh, guys, that is going to be today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, once again, let me know your times if you raised me. I want to know how I compared to you guys. And uh, yeah, Int LR Gohan Extreme Z Awakening Showcase coming soon as well. Probably either later tonight, if not, then tomorrow for sure. So uh, yeah, that's going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.